Dear students, today we will further talk about traditional file structures and more specifically we will be focusing on indexed files and how indexes are made in the index files and that then has become an important part or concept in database systems nowadays. So why we need indexed files? When information to need to be retrieved in a sequence, so sequential file is fine as we have discussed. However, when one want to retrieve in unpredictable manner, so for example, you do not want to retrieve in a sequence, you want to retrieve in a particular record. So for example, if your company has an employee record of 1000 employees, so if you want to read employee number, for example, 50, so this means you need to read first, second, third, fourth, until 50. So what I am focusing or saying that you jump, you want to jump to that particular 50th employee directly and want to access that thing immediately without going in a sequence. So let's have an example. So we have the same file which we were discussing in the previous example which have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 employees and all of those 8 employees have different data and for example we are interested that this data is stored in for example in uh, secondary storage in magnetic tape and we are interested that this employee number one where it has been stored so we want the address of this particular sector and track and where this has been stored where this has been stored the starting address so if we consider that all of these character takes one byte so this means if this address is one at the start so the next employee will start at from 32 and next would be 32 plus 31 which is 63 and so on so it is straightforward but you know that in uh, drives the address doesn't start from one it is a hexadecimal or a long address having multiple bit patterns so we need such information to be stored somewhere so for example if we make such a table which have that employee one is being stored at this address aa 001101 ed so this is the address where employee number one is stored and suppose this aa is the sector information and from 00 it is the track information and so on so this means that whenever we are interested to retrieve the employee record one we will go direct we will look into this table which is shown over here and we will go directly to that particular location for example this location is somewhere here and we will start picking record from here so if you are going to retrieve employee number four so you will go into this table and in this table you will see this address and suppose this address is somewhere here so you will start moving into that direction so this particular table which we have created is basically called the index which told that where each of the record is saved at the drives so how index and index file storage is maintained so in the mass storage you have the indexed file and you have the index as well so i mean from index is the table which i have shown into the previous slide so whenever you want to retrieve this file first of all we need to read this index and need to put this index into the main memory and then main memory will tell you that which employee is stored or which record is stored where so you will find that address and then you will go into the that particular location to get that information so index is transferred to main memory when the index file is opened and index is stored in mass storage as a separate file so let's summarize today's module we have learned about very popular and common concept in traditional file storage and in database systems as well the index and what are the index files and why we need index files we have discussed an example and how index storage and retrieval is performed 